Few people have crafted as many recipes as Reed Drummond, but they don't all turn out well. So what's the one dish she regrets the most? Food Network's hit TV series The Pioneer Woman, hosted by recipe blogger and rancher Reed Drummond, has been on the air since 2011. Drummond usually makes several recipes per episode, and when you take into account her blog and cookbook recipes, it's probably safe to say that the Pioneer Woman has shared hundreds of meal ideas with her audience over the years. It makes sense, then, that not all of them would be hits. After all, how many people can say they've created hundreds of unique dishes without at least one not turning out as expected? For Drummond, one recipe sticks out. In answer to a reader question in the Pioneer Woman magazine, Drummond shared a recipe that she wishes she had never made on her show, a fried chicken pizza made with frozen bread dough and frozen chicken tenders. She wrote, The vision I had was of big, beautiful pieces of homemade fried chicken and thick-cut pickles with a drizzle of honey. I wound up using frozen chicken strips, and they had not won any chicken strip beauty pageants. Then we threw coleslaw into the mix, and it was just a sea of confusion. All the rules just went out the window. She talked about this dish again in her memoir, Frontier Follies, stating, It was absolutely awful. Here's a question, though. Could Drummond have tweaked the recipe to make it better? If you're interested in trying to bring a decent version of fried chicken pizza to life at home, it's possible with some tweaks. By Drummond's own admission, the pizza had a lot going on and the toppings overwhelmed the simplicity of the dish. I think I've lost my mind. This is the craziest thing ever. <laughs> To make things easier, consider scaling back a bit. In particular, we'd consider ditching the jalapeno slices, as the pickles already give the pizza some added zing. Cabbage is the star of a good coleslaw, but when it comes to adding it to a pizza, it can be distracting. The barbecue sauce could make it soggy as well. Give the pizza an added crunch and make the coleslaw act as more of a unifying element by incorporating toasted almonds into the mix. Alternatively, you can also fry the coleslaw to give it some caramelization. If you're using a sweet coleslaw, you might want to use a tangier barbecue sauce too, as the flavors suit each other and prevent your pizza from being overloaded with too much sugar. As for the chicken, why depend on a deli or grocery store freezer aisle when you can fry it yourself? There are dozens of fantastic fried chicken recipes out there, and as long as you put the work in to do it properly, you shouldn't have much trouble wrestling up something tasty. From there, you may be able to find better success with a fried chicken pizza. Drummond's fried chicken pie was featured in Season 19, Episode 12 of The Pioneer Woman, and the recipe is still on the Food Network's website. Reviewers on the recipe actually had some good things to say about Drummond's least favorite recipe. One person wrote, The mix of flavors in this pizza are so yummy. We'll definitely be making this again. Another user shared that though they swapped homemade dough for store-bought and chopped up the chicken tenders, it was still a fun new take on pizza night. Commenters on a Facebook video clip of the episode, which shows how Drummond makes the pizza, weren't as kind. One joked, Recipe submitted by local 19-year-old stoner. I feel like she's running out of ideas. Another tried to offer some constructive feedback, saying she should have cut up the chicken in chunks instead of lumping them on top of the pizza. It might not be her best work, but clearly having one dud recipe out of hundreds hasn't been a problem for Drummond, whose Pioneer Woman brand is still flourishing. And come on, let's be fair, who among us hasn't made a kitchen clanger every now and then?